I found the best note-taking app for students, and you've probably never heard of it. Colonote is a note-taking app with so many cool features that make it perfect for note-taking and planning. And the best part, it's completely free! One thing I love about it is that it was designed by a student, so it was designed by students for students, which means it just completely gets everything you would possibly need. Um, so I'm just going to walk you through some of my favorite features. Let's go! So the first thing I love about Colonote is how it's really easy to organize your notes. So you can create folders in Colonote. As you can see, I've arranged all my notes by subject. So these are all my French notes, these are my biology notes, etc. What's great is that you can actually create folders and folders to create a nested system. So let's just create a new folder right here. I'm going to name the folder my folder. And then in it, we can add a new note. So I'm going to be using my Apple Pencil, and one cool feature is that Colonote completely incorporates Apple's handwriting feature. So you can just handwrite. So now you can choose your paper. I like my paper lined, and create a note. So right off the bat, one of the greatest pen tools is the pressure sensitivity. So when you select ink pen, you can write with different pressures and it will register with different thickness. I personally write with this setting on and I feel it creates such a pretty effect in my notes. Next up, another feature is the highlight behind text feature. Now this feature allows you to use a highlighter and then when you use it, it will show it behind whatever you've written. So I find this much easier to visualize when using the smart dark mode feature. So the smart dark mode feature inverts the colors in your notes so that it's easier on the eyes in dark situations. So suppose I wrote something and then used a highlighter to highlight behind the text. You can see at first it's dark and coming over the text, but when I hold it for a few seconds, the text shines through again. And one of my favorite things about the smart dark mode feature is that once you turn it off, the colors change back to normal. In fact, you can change your entire user interface to dark mode. And, well, dark mode is superior. Now, Colonote has all the pens you would possibly want. You have a normal writing pen, you have a pencil that has texture, you've got your highlighter, you've got a lasso tool to move things around, you've got your eraser to erase, and you can erase in two modes, whole and partial. So if you want to erase whole, it would erase your whole stroke. If you want to erase partial, then you could erase just like half of it. You've also got your text feature, which allows you to uh, insert text, but also write with handwriting and auto convert the text. Just like that. On the side, you've got your favorites bar. It allows you to save your most commonly used pens. For example, I use this one a lot. It's a teal pen, and suppose I was writing with it and now I wanted to change to my highlighter. So I, I would tap my highlighter, highlight, tap my pen again, and continue writing. But that's not all, and this is one of my favorite things to do. So in this little plus button, you've got your insert menu. And here, you can insert an image, or you can insert a link to a website. So if you clicked on that, um, you can go to any website you want. So here we have Google. So if we added an interactive Google page, you just have to press create. And you now have an interactive Google page in your notes. And you can actually use the search thing. So suppose I search for my channel. My YouTube page comes up. So this is really cool if you want to add interactive simulations into your notes or you just want to play around like I'm doing right now. <laughs> Finally, one last thing you can do is you can import PDFs. So for example, I have my French homework here. So let's just open it. And you can read your PDFs and you can also annotate on top of them. Suppose I wanted to highlight this word in font. <laughs> it's pretty cool if you want to do some annotation. And these are obviously not all the features that Colonote has to offer, so I advise you to go check it out yourself because it's really worth it. I really hope I've convinced you to give Colonote a try. Um, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.